Hello there everyone and welcome back, it's Boost Box Wednesday, we're opening some more Cosmic Eclipse for you guys today. This is another box from the same case as our last few. So if you watched our last Boost Box Wednesday, you'll know that that box gave us two rainbows in one box, which is not usual. So I don't know if we're going to be screwed for the rest of the case or not, <laughs> but I'm sure we'll find out. Laura's here this time. Oh, yeah. She's been absent from the last few because she's been very, very sick. But I'm okay now. Starting off with a throw and a full art Flygon GX. Ooh. Not a bad start at all. I'm gonna move these down a bit so we can keep those on camera because I have no concept of where my boundaries are even though I can clearly see the viewfinder. Yep. All right, so Laura, what do you think of the set? Um, now that you've seen a bit more of it. I don't, I don't know. I, I, <laughs> Absolutely incredible video making. <laughs> Fantastic commentary. I've been so enwrapped in Sword and Shield that I'm just ready to see the new Pokemon, I think. Have you been finding Sword and Shield? You've been enjoying it? Yeah, I really like it. How far into it are you? Um, I have beaten the 8th gym. So, so the last one? So, yeah. Um, and I'm about to take on the Champion Cup, but first I have to level up my Dreepy, who is a Ghost Dragon. Who doesn't love a Ghost Dragon? Yeah. Are you sure those piles are right? Do not just want to train it? No, because that takes a lot longer to do. We'll do that afterwards. Okay. I'm just putting the uncommons together. Yeah. Ooh, we got our first regular foil. That foil galley is really nice. I like that. I like that he's a um, psychic and a fighting type. Uh, is he? Oh! I didn't even read that. Yeah, his ability is, as long as it's in play, it is a psychic and a fighting type. So I guess that just means that if you if you have something that specifically searches for a fighting type out your deck, you can't get him then. Correct. But once he's on the battlefield. Pokemon can be both weak and resistant. That's interesting. But they're all times two and halved, right? Uh, no, it's times two and then usually minus twenty. Ooh, that's very nice. That is Arceus and Dialga and Palkia GX. That's really cool. Alright, well in that case, do you apply weakness or resistance first? Weakness first. Okay. Good to know. Things that will probably never come up but might. Well, if they specifically print a card like that, it is going to come up. Ooh. Oh, look at him! That is our first character rare from the box, and it is still matching the off-centeredness of the previous ones. That is very cute. I really like that one. It's Wooly and Gallade there. Is it the same Gallade? How could I possibly know that? It, I, oh, right you, in front of you. You mean, I thought you were talking about some sort of law of Wally owning Gallades. As opposed to, does it have the same effects? But yes, it does. Okay. So he is also a fighting type. Yeah, and looks less like a psychic type than the other one. He looks less like any type than the other one. Yeah. So anyway, you're talking about Sword and Shield. Um, yeah, it's, it's really good. Been enjoying it? I have been. I'm, like I said, leveling up my Dreepy. I'm very excited to shoot baby dragons out of big dragon's head. I've seen pictures of Dreepy. I know which one is. That's very cool. Like him. So, no, nothing else to say on Cosmic Eclipse at all, <laughs> other than I like Sword and Shield. <laughs> Was your entire commentary of the character rares are cool. Um, there are a lot of really good artworks in this set that have like yeah. some. They like snuck in cute stuff in the background. There's a lot of the, um, the statue of Arceus. 
insert the outer Nokia. Well, we have regular slot Nokia. So the, other than the cool artwork and the character rares, standard Sun and Moon set. Yeah. I think it's a very nice set to finish off the era though. I mean, I've said that in every box opening video so far. That's fair. Because there's only so many Euro now stuff to say. How many is this for you? Uh, this is box number four because we have the, well you did the first one with me I think, the one we got from the pre-releases. Yeah. And then um, I did, this is the third one from our case, our first case. Hopefully there will be a second case at some point. Maybe. We'll see. Depending on how close we get to finishing the sets. Mm -hmm. Reverse EVU, foil, ultra, and crossbow. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. But we're already out of box four and I'm still missing rares from the set. And not just one or two, all one. <laughs> Doing some sort of attack. I get right. I Is that why it's all lit up yellow? Probably. The uh, helioctile from the set is all lit up yellow as well. They're taking all sunlight. Okay, got a thing. I think so. Okay. I could be making that. Yeah, you very much could. That's <laughs> definitely a thing you could. This is a pack 18, so this is going to be the first half of the box over. Well, we've already done alright, we've got one character rare so far, two GXs and a full art GX. Hey, second character, we've got Magnemite. Sweet. It's a very nice one. I love the Magnemite, he's so happy. He is. And one of the two Magnemites in the background also kind of happy. Reverse Excadrill. Oh, and Mega Lock Bunny and Jigglypuff GX. Nice. That's a good way to start off the second half of the box. So, since we haven't said yet, in terms of what we would be looking for from this set, the rainbows, of course, mm -hmm. golden trainers. I think specifically the golden stadiums are the ones usually uh, the most sought after. Does that make sense? Yeah, it's only the third set they've been in, and there was what, one in the first set that they were in. Four in. Uh, that's a really cool one. Oh, I do really like that one. Uh, four in Hidden Fates, so a lot harder to get. And then two or three in this set, I think. I don't know. They're very cool cards, though. And of the rainbows, what's the big one? Charizard breaks in. And then I think the Arceus Dialga Palkia is pretty sought after as well. That would make sense. It's kind of the... I don't know. You really don't know I, I completely <laughs> lost my train of thought there. Started saying something, said something else instead. <laughs> took 30 seconds of dead air that, That's not the word that I wanted, though. Oh, that's oh, very that's cool. Nice, yeah. Full art Mallow and Lana trainer card. That's really nice. The full art tag team trainers do look really cool. Mm -hmm. Or tag team supporters, I should say. Yeah, I think for, for full arts, you know, I think Charizard breaks in is a bit, but I think it's the full art supporters that people are really wanting. As it, as it has been since they first made full art supporters yeah. about 10 years ago. 10 years ago, 5 years ago. It's going too long. I'm ready to be done with these giant sets that have a million secret rares. Well, the first time they did full art trainers, it wasn't a giant set, it was Noble Victory. They had, a full, that they had a full art end. There were five full arts total and one secret. That's totally fine. 
that's how a set should be. All right, we've got character rare Wishy Washy, that's very cool. And Reshiram and Zekrom GX. Very nice artwork on that one too. He's chilling right in the background. The altered art has N much more prominent. It, is, it was something like the uh, the black and white era had, I think, eight full art supporters total. <laughs> I think probably every set in Sun and Moon in the Sun and Moon era has had about that. <laughs> Pretty close. Maybe uh, either Burning Shadows or Crimson Invasion, whichever one's the really small one, might have had less. Comes something when the really small set of the era is like 160 cards. <laughs> Only a few packs left. We've got through this one fairly quickly. And only a little bit of it has been Laura trying to think of how to speak English. Struggle. Yeah. How many packs have we got? Three? Do you reckon we're going to get anything good? Um, one more thing. One more thing. Maybe a regular GX. Maybe a character. Maybe a character. Is the alternate artful art of Blastoise and Piplup GX. That's really nice. Super cute. So is that three full arts in this box? Uh, we'll check. That's good. Well, we got the supporter. Yeah. And we got the Flygon out of like pack number one. Yeah, that's. Uh, I forgot about him. Yeah. So. Yeah. So these boxes actually have a pretty decent pull rate. I think they must have upped the pull rate from the last couple of sets. I would hope so. Just so much to try to get. All right, well, that's the final pack. So let's take a look at exactly what we got. So we got we have three character rares. We got Gallade, got Magnemite, and we got Wishy Washy. And for GXs, we got Reshiram and Zekrom, Mega Lot Bunny and Jigglypuff, Flygon and Arceus and Dialga and Palkia. And then for full arts, we got the full art Flygon. The alternate full art of Blastoise and Piplup, which looks really cool. Uh -huh. And full art Mallow and Lana, which also looks incredible. Yeah, definitely my favorite pull of this box. Yeah. Anyway, that's another Boost Box Wednesday. I'll just move those back down because I keep putting those off camera. So uh, yeah, that's another Boost Box Wednesday. Um, we'll have some more videos up for you very soon and we'll be back again next week. Bye. Thanks for watching. Check out some more videos right here. And don't forget to subscribe for more awesome Pokemon content from DJ Gigabyte. Gotta, Gotta catch, catch them all! all. <laughs>